And breaking news, controversial CPD union head John Catanzara makes a surprise announcement about his future as a cop. And that's where we begin this hour 18 moments ago. The man who leads the police union, the man who took on the mayor over vaccine mandates, just announced he wants to replace Mayor Lightfoot. And that is not all. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live. Megan, his big announcement comes after a day of hearings to determine if he should be fired. Right, Brad and Erica, certainly some surprising developments today. He said he was running for mayor shortly after announcing he'd be resigning effective tomorrow after more than 26 years with the Chicago Police Department. He was facing charges that he violated 11 police department rules. I informed them with my intention to uh, retire first thing tomorrow morning and put an end to this charade, which we already knew what the outcome was going to be. There was never a possibility under God's green earth that I was ever going to give this mayor the ability to utter the words, I fired him. John Catanzara announced his intention to retire after one day in the hot seat, answering questions about his, quote, offensive public social media posts between 2016 and 2018, and on allegations he made two false police reports. At the end of the day, they're marching for, uh, against violence, and, and that benefits this entire city. Then Superintendent Eddie Johnson surprised many residents when he walked arm in arm with Father Michael Flager and Reverend Jesse Jackson during an anti-violence march in July 2018 that shut down the Dan Ryan. Charging documents show Catanzara generated an incident report using someone else's beat number to accuse Johnson of trespassing, then made another report in November 2018 against another top CPD official for obstructing justice when that official canceled the first report. Today, Catanzara, who's been with CPD since 1995, defended making both of those reports, considering himself a whistleblower. Blower. He was also presented with his own public social media posts, the basis for more than a dozen charges that charging documents call, quote, disrespectful, obscene, biased against Muslims, and even threatening. Today, Catanzara was asked questions about each post, which he says were made as a private citizen and not in his position as a Chicago police officer. He blamed Facebook trolls for provoking him, and he said he felt compelled to defend himself and his fellow officers. Now, there will be a status hearing tomorrow, but if Officer Catanzara resigns, as he says he would, those charges will no longer be pursued by the police board, which no longer has jurisdiction. Erica? And Megan, Catanzara can continue to lead the Fraternal Order of Police. Right. The uh, FOP's constitution allows him to continue to do that even if he is no longer employed by CPD. And today, Erica, he said he plans to continue on as the head of the FOP. All right, Megan Hickey live in the loop. Thank you.